that came out of what do I do with it? I'll just. I mean, I'll hold it for you. You really want to? Not really, okay. no. For all the talk of revitalization under new head coach Jerry Cooper, many fans may not recall that Shawnee got off to a fast 2-0 start last year as well, outscoring their opponents 83-13 to before running into a Wapak team that stumbled a bit out of the gate. Redskins emerged victorious in last year's matchup 28-7 as both schools finished middle of the pack in the Western Buckeye League, a result that neither Cooper nor Wapak head coach Travis Moyer want to duplicate this season, this is our game of the night here on TV 44. Catch it at 11. Jumping jacks. We need some of those. Tough running early on. Gibson tries to find some space, but Sheridan O'Neill, the basketball standout, playing some good defense. Then it's the wrestler, Evan Keck. Always tough to bring Mr. Keck down. And he <laughs> carries the mail here. Then it's Herb looking to throw. He has to take off and run. Nice handoff. There's Keck for a few more. And then I think we're going to get Herb taken off here. He's here gonna we go. Yep. Run, picks up a few yards, but Shawnee's defense stiffens, holds the Skins to a field goal opportunity in that opening quarter as Luke Beach toes it up from 29 yards. And that Mike Watt training does great things. He gets the field goal. Wapakoneta only led 13-0 uh, at the half. They get the win, though, 32-6. to six. And you can watch this one in its entirety at 11 here on TV 44.